Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a great time to click the link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing content. Today's video comes from one of our subscribers who asked, what should they be doing in their 20s to prevent aging? So I'm gonna do a quick and simple anti-aging skincare routine that anybody I always say the earlier you start with anti-aging, the better. So this is applicable for people 18, 16, 18, right the way through to people who may be in their 40s. Once you get to that stage where the skin does start to mature, maybe some of the damage has become more permanent, then we want to switch it up and we start wanting to use different sort of treatments and approaches. But this is very much aimed at people who want to get into anti-aging skincare or maybe already have quite a good skincare routine We want to check and make sure that it's going to be doing what it needs to do to prevent aging down the line. So watch right the way through to the end, guys, because there's some amazing tips in this. Well, I think they're amazing anyway. Uh, first of all, I know I'm not usually suited and booted, but I am today because I'm um, dashing off. As soon as I film this, I'm dashing off to visit clients. So that explains a slightly different costume than normal. So let's start with anti-aging. Well, I think there's never you're never too young to attack this first signs of aging. And Studies have shown that the first signs of aging start emerging in our teens. So we're exposed to sun, which is accountable for about 80% of the damage that we have to our skin. It comes from UV um, light. That starts in our teens. Well, earlier than that, but the first signs will start being seen in our teens. So it's never, never too early to start with a good anti-aging routine. And a couple of things that I think maybe we miss out on when we first start with our anti-aging is we focus very heavily on the moisturizers because people see anti-aging night cream, anti-aging day cream. Moisturizers on the whole, and there are a few exceptions, but moisturizers on the whole are rubbish at tackling anti-aging. That uh, tackling aging, sorry. What moisturizers do is they plump the skin, they bring temporary relief to any dryness. So you might think, oh, my skin feels great. Oh yeah, I do look a bit more, good. you know, it gives that illusion, but actually it's doing, it's very few moisturizers have long-term benefits. So what we need to do is work in some key active ingredients into the routine to really make sure that you're keeping any signs of aging at bay. So at the start, I think the key, key, key product that you need to use is an SPF. This is going to be the boring bit because everyone knows SPF. Well, I hope everyone knows SPF pre presents, prevents sun damage. Um, I use the Intransit Skin Defense. This is by This Works. The reason I use this is it is moisturizing enough that I can use it as a moisturizer as well as an SPF so I don't feel like I've got two steps into my routine and that I need to layer moisturizer over SPF. That for me doesn't really work. So this is great. It's a moisturizer and an SPF. Um, it's a factor 30. You should always be using factor 30 or higher um, and it's a chemical sunscreen. Chemical or mineral they're absolutely fine. It's personal preference, whichever one you want to go for but I would definitely say 30 or above and should be applied every single day at the end of your skincare routine. So you've done all the work you want to do with your skin and you put the SPF on. The reason I mention it now at the start of the video is because without it, there is no point doing any of the rest of this routine. If you don't wear an SPF every single day, there is very little point to doing any of the rest of the routine because you're gonna be allowing the damage to happen and then trying to correct it. Whereas the real solution to aging is to prevent it happening in the first place. Hope that makes sense, but SPF, key. So first of all, do your cleanser. Whatever cleanser you want to use is absolutely fine. Cleansers are wash on, wash off. So it doesn't matter what the claim says on the cleanser, there is no material benefit to anti-aging, uh, for anti-aging purposes in a cleanser. You put it on, you wash it off. So I see people paying premiums for vitamin C cleansers or anti-aging cleansers. You might get super hydrating cleansers. You're washing it on and you're washing it off. The, it's not staying on the skin long enough to actually have a material impact. So choose whatever cleanser you want to use. There's some fantastic ones out there. Neutrogena um, do for some fantastic cleansers. I use the Square Lane one by The Ordinary, which is amazing. But whatever's your preference, do your cleanser. Then you're going to move into exfoliation. Now, the reason exfoliation is key isn't because it particularly... Um, 
has any anti-aging properties in it. What it is doing is removing the layers, the top layers of dead skin. So any products you put on after a good exfoliation will penetrate much deeper into the skin and be able to do much better work than if it's sitting on almost like a mask of dead skin on the top. So it's definitely really important to exfoliate. Now, whether you exfoliate daily like I do and use a weaker exfoliant or weekly or twice weekly and use a stronger exfoliant is personal preference. My current go-to is this. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic gorgeous product it doesn't dry you out it's not so strong that you can't use it every single day and it's got hydrating factors in there so it doesn't feel like it strips your skin gorgeous product and um, we'll definitely recommend this if you haven't if you haven't heard of it i don't know where you've been it's been all over social media but genuinely it's one of those influencer driven products that actually does work so get yourself some of this um Apply this every single day, just once a day in the morning before you do, after you cleanse, but before you do the rest of your routine. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty of what you actually need in an anti-aging skincare routine. Well, the number one, is, the first thing is a vitamin C. Now, a lot of people know that vitamin C, um, this is the ordinary ascorbic acid 8%. This is a really good, really lightweight serum. Everybody knows, or most people know that have watched this channel, that vitamin C is really good for brightening the skin. So people say, well, where's the link there between anti-aging you know great for brightening absolutely but where's the link for anti-aging well vitamin c is a really powerful antioxidant i've done a whole video on antioxidants so check that out if you want some more information but it's a really powerful antioxidant and what it does is it works really well with your spf which you'll put on at the end of the routine to help combat free radical damage so whilst it's not the whilst primarily people use vitamin c for brightening the skin Actually, one of the key components of it is as an antioxidant. Now, of course, you don't need to use a vitamin C antioxidant. You could use any one of the other antioxidants that are out there. Like I say, done a video, check that out. But I think vitamin C is really the easiest to get into. It, it's nice. It does have the added benefit of being brightening and glowing, to bringing bright, brightening and glowing to the skin, sorry. So I like that, that it's got the additionality of benefit there. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous addition because the antioxidants are just going to supercharge your SPF. And I think that's really, really important. So pop that on straight after you've done your exfoliation work. Put a vitamin C on. Let that sink in. Now, one top tip that I've mentioned again on this channel before, but I think is really, really good, is the um, Agiraline Solution. This one's by The Ordinary. You can get other brands. So what Giriline does is it acts as a sort of semi-permanent Botox. It's, it's not the same. Uh, it's nowhere near the same strength. It's going to have nowhere near the results. It doesn't work, but it does help support um, the prevention of dynamic lines and wrinkles. So they're the ones you'll see here and here around the crow's feet area. Um, and also the vermilion border, which is the top of the lip here, you might start to see some um, lines forming as well. This will help prevent the... Um, those dynamic lines from forming. Now, realistically, and I'll be totally honest with you on this, studies have shown it has a an improvement in those dynamic lines. It's not going to change the world. It's not like Botox where you get that lift, that thing. It's not going to do that. However, it's cheap. This one's the one by the ordinary. is £5. So under $10. It's cheap. It's really lightweight. You literally just put one drop on your skin, rub it on the areas that you want to treat, forehead, crow's feet, upper vermilion border, and um, your smile lines here. Put this on, leave it for literally 20 seconds before it sinks in, and then go on. I don't think for the extra cost, which is, like I say, £5 under $10, if you can afford that, it's a fantastic addition because it does just give you that extra bit of anti-aging um, potency to your skincare routine. So that'd be a top tip from me. Invest in this, and I think it'll just add that extra bit of anti-aging um, potency to your routine. It's fantastic. So once you've done that on the morning... I would then put your, you've done your vitamin C work, you put your Agiraline solution on, then it's time to put your SPF on and that's your morning routine done. This is what I'm saying guys, it doesn't have to be, anti-aging doesn't have to be an 18 step routine, it doesn't have to be that complicated. Really what you're wanting is in the morning you are preventing against damage, in the evening you're treating against damage which has occurred. So in the morning you're using your vitamin C as a powerful antioxidant. You're using your SPF as a way of blocking out the damage done by UVA rays. And you're using the Agiraline solution to prevent some of the dynamic smile lines which are going to appear during the day. That's it. That is your morning routine. 
in the evening, which is when we're going to be repairing the damage that's already been done, um, is things are slightly different. But again, really simple. So you'll do your cleanse, whatever you choose your cleanser to be. You won't exfoliate because you've already done that. You won't have your vitamin C because you just use that once a day in the morning. You'd apply, so straight after cleanser, you apply the Agiraline solution, leave it 20 seconds to sink in, and then you apply your retinol. So Retinol is fantastic. So retinol is a derivative of vitamin A. There's a million different types of retinol. You might see retinol palmitate. You might see retinoic acid. You can see many different things, but it's a derivative of vitamin A. And it's one of the few, few ingredients out there that's clinically proven to reverse the signs of aging. So I think when people say anti-aging in skincare is usually preventative. Retinol is one of the few things that can reverse the signs of aging that's already done, which is why it's essential in an anti-aging skincare routine, even at a young age in our 20s. Absolutely, you should include this in your routine. So I've got two options for you. Um, I use the um, Drunk Elephant um, A Passione Retinol Cream. Gorgeous cream, very strong. So this, I think, is for the seasoned retinol user. So people that have, you know used retinol for quite some time i think when you if you're starting this routine in your 20s you want to start low you don't need that super super strength of anything you can increase that as you get older and as your skin maybe needs a little bit more so i'm using this i'm in my 30s i do use the a passione retinol cream by the drunk elephant really great product up there in price but it's actually a really strong retinol that's got some great added moisturizers in there so it's not as drying as some others of an equivalent strength love that product um if you're new, I would actually really recommend, and this is something that I tried out on the channel recently, but this is the Pixie Retinol Tonic. Now, I never liked Pixie as a brand, never had a lot of good to say about Pixie, and I tried their tonics. The Glow Tonic, I've recommended already, is genuinely fantastic. The Vitamin C Tonic is okay. This one, though, I think after the ret after the Glow Tonic, this one, which is the Retinol Tonic, is their star, star product. It's very weak as a retinol, which a lot of people say, what's the point if it's weak? Well, actually, if you're new to retinol, say you're in your late teens, early 20s, and you want to get into retinol, and it's the first time using it, you don't want to go for a high strength like I've just said I use, because your skin will peel, it'll get irritated, it's not worth it. You want to start easy, light, and low. This is it. It's a low strength, easy to apply, light tonic. It's a toner solution, in effect. It is fantastic. Um, I used it for two weeks to test this out. And the strength is enough that it has a visible difference. So it will make a difference to your skin and does work. However, it's not going to give you any of the downtime, any of the peeling, any of the redness. So put this on in an evening, then your moisturiser, then go to bed. And that, guys, is it. And I know this seems really short and really simple. And I think, you know, I know there's guys, like, people out there that were saying, where's the super in-depth? It doesn't need to be difficult. So your anti-aging routine on a morning comprises of a good exfoliation, followed by an antioxidant application, followed by the Giraline um, dynamic lines solution, and then an SPF. That's four steps. Obviously you'll cleanse, so that's five. So it's a five-step routine in the morning. In the evening, you will cleanse. You then apply your um, retinol cream or tonic, whichever you prefer, and then you can put on your a Giraline solution followed by your moisturiser. Again, four. So five steps in the morning, four in the evening. I, I think we sometimes think anti-aging. I think some of the reason that people, millennials, people in their 20s to 30s think don't do an anti-aging routine is because they think... Oh, that's too much time. That's something you do when you've got more time, where everyone's so busy and, you know, I was as guilty as that in my 20s, always thinking, well, I'll do that when I get more time in my 30s, thinking that people in their 30s and 40s sat around doing nothing all day, when now I'm in my 30s, I realise, no, it's just as hard as it was in the 20s. So I think the key thing here is to keep it simple. Make sure you're using the right products in the right order, but you don't need loads. That whole routine, you could get morning and night for under £50 here in the UK, and it'd last about two months. It's not expensive, it's perfectly achievable, and it's quick and easy. So I hope you find this really interesting, guys. I'd love to know what products you use. These, you know, I'm talking about the ingredients in these. There are other products out there. These are just the ones that I would personally recommend. Um, I've got a dash now because I've got some clients to see and some people to help. So um, I'll leave it there. 
But I'd love, love, love if you give this video a big thumbs up. You know, it's going really well on this channel. It's all thanks to the amazing support of people like you guys and our loyal subscribers. It's amazing. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow us on Instagram at Skin Mad. Um, we're going to start posting some things on there that we don't include on YouTube. So it's good to have both. Um, so you'll be able to keep abreast of all the hints, tips and tricks that we're going to be doling out. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Bye.